Hi, this is Dave Bennett. It's October 8, 2016, <laughs> continuing with the software installer ser uh, series. So this is going to be about managing databases. So we did these, managing subdomains and everything else here. Now we're down to here, manage databases. So sometimes um, when you're on a website, you install some things, and then you want to install it, um, you do different things. And eventually you wind up with a bunch of databases. Maybe you deleted the files uh, for different things because you're done with them. They're not doing what you want or they're outmoded or they're just useless or who knows what. Uh, but you had to install these databases. So you just like to go ahead and get rid of the databases you're sure you don't need anymore. Or just get rid of a bunch of databases so you can kind of start over. Or if you have a limit on the number of databases you're allowed in the first place. Well, check this out right here. Okay. This is a database, and that is the user that currently is assigned to that database. So if I hit this, I am deleting both the database and the user. All right, I'll just go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> and so this is going to all be done in a moment. Okay, now what's that mean? Remember our Chicago Roofers example? I wonder if this is going to work now. Let's see. No, of course not. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and show you. Okay, Chicago Roofers. Remember what I said, that the files have to connect to the SQL database. Whoops, connect rush. Okay, just uh, for this domain. All right, and there's nothing here anymore, right? Because it's looking for the database, and there's just straight nothing here to work with. Okay, uh, and that's what happens when you get rid of a database. <laughs> uh, you wind up dealing with uh, deleting the files. So long as I deleted the database, I may as well also make sure real quick that I got rid of the subdomains and the files associated with it. In other words, get rid of the whole thing. Okay, And that's what it takes to get rid of a whole program. You get rid of the files and the subdomain and you delete it. Okay, And go back. Uh, manage databases. And then if I wanted to just like show some something else. There you go. Some of these have one set. Some have two or three or four or five. Some have 15 or 20. It really just depends on everything they're doing on their website. Here's a case of two. All right, now, having said that, um, manage tab bases, manage subdomains. Again, between the two, if you're looking at subdomains and databases, okay, then that's just, I mean, again, a lot. For guys who don't know how far out you can think, take a look. This is one domain with nothing but subdomains. And I'm not sure how many there are, <laughs> but look at this, okay? These are all different websites, you know, that, that we've just kind of worked on as we went along, okay? Things that just kind of got left up over time, all right? So you can make those all working websites, okay? You can make them all, um, you can even make this many add-ons on a single cPanel and then go and do this many projects per add-on. You could do that, okay? It's just, that's huge. The, the spread is massive. All right. And those of you guys who know enough about SEO, if you're going to create several websites, you can have some backlink the others, right? So you can create a stack, then create another stack over here and have the related ones over here connect to the related ones over there to give the related ones over there more link juice so that they can have higher domain authority, higher page authority, so, they, so that you can create a bunch of uh, votes, you know, anchor text backlinks from one to the other, okay, to drive the other one up. Use one like a slave to bolster up the master, okay? And if you were to get, say, five domains, 50 bucks, and put them all as add-ons in your subdomains, that would give you five different projects. So then you might get another cPanel and put on five add-on domains there and basically put another version of the same project over there and then use backlinks to backlink those to the first set of add-on domains, okay? We'll talk about that kind of strategy further on down the line. You'll understand it better. I'm just letting you know, this is how big this sort of thing can go. And if I really wanted to, if I wanted to start something over because I don't need this stuff anymore, yes, I can go delete all the stuff with all the files quickly and efficiently, get rid of all the subdomains. And I can also go in and get rid of all the um, databases too. And that way I can just start fresh okay, on the website, just completely start fresh. All right. And that just makes life so much easier. Okay? There you go. Now, 
That's the end of this recording. We're going to move on to the next tool, which is going to be deleting subdomain files. All right. See you there.